factoring method GCF. GCF or greatest common factor is the greatest factor that appears in a given set of numbers. There are some steps to find GCF. Find all the factors of each number. Circle common factors. Choose the greatest of those factors. And here are some examples. Find a GCF of 10 and 20. The factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10, and 20. And we circle those factors that are common between 10 and 20, which are 1, 2, 5, and 10. You don't have to write this, but I did that for factors are the 1, 2, 5, and 10. And you find the greatest one that is in both, which in this case, your GCF is then 10. Now here is another example, which is going to be the GCF of 30 and 15. First we clear it, and write out GCF of 30 and 15. Now the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, 15. And the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 6, or five, six, six, ten, fifteen, and then also thirty. Now again, you don't have to write. Well, you have to circle them, figure out which ones you are, which is one, three, five, fifteen are your common factors. You don't have to write the word factors and put, list them. But in this case, it's 1, 3, 5, and 15. And in this case, your GCFN is also 15. Factoring method, special cases. Special cases are squared polynomials that can be factored out into FOIL. Steps to solve special cases. First, write your parentheses. Next, write your variables in the parentheses. Then see what adds up to be your middle term and multiplies to be your end term. Then put those numbers and signs in the parentheses. And here's some examples. Put some special cases. We have x squared plus 9x plus 18. First you write your parentheses, then write your variable. Now to find what adds up to be 9 and multiplies to be 18. In this case, we find the factors out, which are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. You don't have to do a step if you already know what your answer is going to be. We find out 3 and 6 work to add up to be 9 and also multiply to be 18. So we have x plus 6 and x plus 3 as our answer.
that we start off with x squared plus 7x plus 12. I put x and x with our parentheses and we started. And we run our factors with 12, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, and then 12. As we find out, the 3 and 4 work. 3 plus 4 is equal to 12. Well, 3 plus 4 equals 7, and 3 times 4 is 12. So our answer should be positive 4 plus 3, x plus 4, x plus 3 are our answers. Factoring method for x squared plus bx plus c. x squared plus bx plus c is the square polynomials that can be factored out into following. Steps to solve x squared plus bx plus c. Write your parentheses. Next, write the preferable in the parentheses. See what adds up to the middle term and multiplies to be your end term. And put those numbers and signs in the parentheses. And here are your examples. We have x squared plus 15x plus 56. So you write your parentheses, put down your variable, you see what multiplies to be 56 which is 8 times 7 and adds up to be 15 which is again 8 plus 7. And that would be your term for, and you put your signs, plus 8 plus 7 and that's your answer. Now we erase for our second example. Now we go with x squared plus 12x plus 32. Rare parentheses. Put the variables. We find what adds up to 12 and multiplies to 32, which in this case is 8 plus 4 and 8 times 4. So we write our variables in there and also our numbers, which is x plus 8 and x plus 4. And that's our solution. Factoring method AX squared plus BX plus C. AX squared plus BX plus C is the factoring polynomials with X finding the GCF and using a box to find more of the GCF and turning the equation to the original FOIL method. Steps to find A x squared plus bx plus c. First, you make an x. Next, bring down the middle term on the top of the x. Then multiply the two n terms and bring them down to bottom of the x. And find what multiplies to get the bottom term of the x and adds up to get the top term of the x. Then you make a box with four squares. Put the first term in the original equation in the first box and the last term in the original equation in the last box.
Then put the left and right terms in the X in the box. Find the GCF in all diagonals except across. Then multiply the terms on each end of the box to check your answer. And now, here are some examples. AX square plus BX plus CX box method. We're going to start with 2X squared plus 7X plus 6. First, you bring down your middle term, then you multiply the other two. First and last, and you bring it down. Then you find it will add up to be 7, one plus to be 12, which is basically 4 plus 3 is 7, and 4 times 3 is 12. Now we draw our box. Put our first term, which is 2x squared, and our last term, and last box, which is 6. You put the middle term, it doesn't matter where, don't forget the x's. And then you find the GCF of our diagonals, which is x. Then you have 2, put a sign there. Then we have 3 there, and 2x there. Then you multiply them to check your answer. Do that. On 4x, 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2 is 6. And you just write out as your answer, which is 2x plus 3, and 2, I mean, x plus 2, and as your answer. Start erasing. Now we start off again. 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. Sure, we bring down our middle term, which is 9. Multiply the other 2, which is 20. And the final adds up, which is 5 and 4. Add up to be 9 and multiply to be 20. Now we draw a box. Make those four squares. Put the first term in the first box. Put the last term in the last box. Now we put the 5x1 and 4x1. Find GCF for diagonals, which is 2. We have x. Put those parentheses. And we have 2x. And we have 5. Now you go ahead, you check, multiply, 10, 2 times x, 2 times 2, and you write down your final answer, which is 2x plus 5, and x plus 2, and that is your answer. Factoring method, solving for zeros. Solving for zeros is changing a binomial equation to a trinomial equation then factoring and getting to a graph solution set. Steps to solve for zeros. First, bring everything to one side. Then factor the equation t into FOIL. Third, draw a t-chart under the factor equation and solve for each variable. 
then notate the solution set with the bracket comma bracket with your answers inside. Now here are some examples. We'll solve for x squared plus negative three x minus which is equal to ten. And we'll subtract ten from each side. And we'll have x squared minus three x minus ten equals zero. Then we factor it, which is going to be x plus 2x minus 5. Then make your key chart. We'll write x plus 2 equals 0, minus 2 minus 2, and have x equals negative 2. x minus 5 equals 0, add 5 to each side. 5 and x equals 5. And we'll do our bracket notation, which will be negative 2, comma, 5, and bracket into our first solution set. You go ahead and erase all that. And this problem x squared minus 6x equals not negative 9. And now I need to tell you x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. You factor that out, you get minus 3, minus 3. And your teacher, since they're the same, you really don't have to do the other side to get an answer, but yet, if you want, you can. Add 3, add 3, you get x equals 3. And yes, I did the other side, equals 0, plus 3, plus 3, get x equals 3. Then you do your little bracket notation, put 3, comma 3, and that is your solution set for this equation. Factoring method, real world word problems. Real world word problems are word problems that have factoring in them that also are real world situations. Here are the steps for word problems. First, you want to read the problem. Second, you want to make the equation. Third, you want to factor the equation. And fourth, you want to find the solution. Now here are two examples that are going to follow up in this video that have examples of word problems worked out. The first one is Tony has a positive number and his number is added to its square. His result is 56. Find the number. The second one is Brenda is thinking of a negative number. And that number is subtracted from its square, and her result is 72. So we're going to find the number. First, we start off with Tony, where he has x squared plus x is equal to 56. Subtract 56 from both sides. And we have x squared plus x equal minus 36 equals 0. Now we factor it out. You don't have to do Xbox method, but in my case, I actually did. So if you want to skip forward to see what 
you have factors. You go ahead by eight and then your seven. I made the box. Put x squared, put minus fifty six. This is simple and so this is a both factor. I don't know why, but I did it just because show that Xbox works in any kind of method. I also did it for Brenda's too, but just to let you know you don't have to do this to get your equation. You can simply know eight minus seven is positive x and eight minus times minus seven is negative fifty six. So now as you can see I have eight x plus eight and x minus seven. And you make your t chart here. Find your x's x plus eight equals zero. Minus eight minus eight x equals negative eight. Now what happens is if we need a positive number, Tony needs a positive number, so we add seven. X equals seven. That's your positive number, so answer is seven. Now we erase and here we go. Now we'll work on Brenda once we're done. But this time we're working with seventy two and instead of having a positive number, we're gonna have a negative number. So instead of x squared plus x, we're gonna have x squared minus x. So let's we'll start off with x squared minus x equals 72. Minus 72 from both sides. You get x squared minus x minus 72 equals zero. And again, I did fact I did the Xbox method. Again, if you want to pass forward, you can. I don't know why. You get negative nine, positive eight, and you can make your box. Square box. X squared minus seventy two. Negative nine. X. A X. Do the factoring. You get eight. Plus x, put those parentheses. You get x on there, you get negative 9 there. Then you go ahead, you can see I got my factoring. Sorry, there you go, x plus 8, x minus 9. Now we need a negative number for this, so let's see what we get. x plus 8 equals 0. Minus a minus a get x equals negative a. Now x minus nine equals zero plus nine plus nine over x equals nine. Now we need negative numbers, so x equals negative eight is our.